Subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. The Delhi riots case and trial has taken another contentious turn. Umar Khalid, student activist, earlier facing charges in the JNU case, has been arrested. This development comes after eminent citizens and politicians like Yogendra Yadav, economist Joyti Ghosh, found themselves curiously named in a supplementary charge sheet. The Delhi police clarified that they were not being treated as accused, but they were in fact named by three women earlier arrested with connection to the Delhi riots. What's actually going on here? There are many who have seen these developments as a curbing of dissent, as a clampdown of anyone who criticizes the government, pointing out that there were many others of right-wing dispensation, supporters of the BJP who also made inflammatory comments like Goli Maro Sanoko, who have not been arrested. On the program today, Yugendra Yadav, uh, who took to Twitter to say that he was certainly not one of the accused, which the Delhi police has corroborated, and Rajat Sethi, a right-wing ideologue and advisor to the Manipur chief minister. I'll start with you, Yugendra Yadav. I'm sure you were quite startled uh, to find your, yourself being named uh, as somebody in the charge sheet, the police has since clarified that you are not an accused, but you have been named along with others in the disclosure statements of three young women of the Pinjra Thord Women's Collective. Do you know the women concerned and were you startled that you were named by them? Barkha, I wouldn't wish to say very much about my own case, uh, simply because A, it, is, it was a minor warning to what actually happened then in the case of Omar. Uh, Two, because, uh, I mean, I shouldn't be speaking too much about myself. Uh, I think I should only mention a few things. Number one is that this is a what is called a disclosure statement. Yeah. A disclosure statement is not a, uh, not a statement made by someone who is signed and uh, authorized. Yeah. This is police's own version of what they have heard from an accused. Importantly, the accused are reported have to have refused to sign it. So the question we should be asking is not why they named me. The question is, why did Delhi police name me? That's an interesting question one should ask. Uh, do I know Golfisha? Uh, I may have met her. No, I don't personally know her. I personally know Natasha, but I don't figure in that statement. Uh, so that's the factual part of it. But I think we should be focusing on Omar Khalid, which is the real case. So, uh, so, so, so before, uh, before I ask you to comment on Omar Khalid, you did find the mention uh, as attributed to Gulfisha Fatima about you a warning to you? Did you see it as a warning to you? Did you see it as a warning shot? Uh, well, it's funny. It's funny partly because what does that statement say? It says that people like me used to come and give inflammatory speeches. Now, my real plea to Delhi police is, why do you have to trouble a goldfish to find out what I was saying in my speeches? They have been recorded. I believe Delhi police has the, all the recordings. And in case they are missing any recording, they are all there on my Facebook because every one of those speeches was live. Why doesn't Delhi police do elementary homework and pick up at least two sentences from my speech and say, here is Mr. Yadav advocating violence? Yeah. You know, it would be lovely to watch, wouldn't that be? Why don't they do that? Okay. Uh, it so happens that uh, Silampur and Jafrabad, which is being talked about in this particular case, it so happened that on 24th of February, just when the situation was very tense and we thought it could lead to violence, I actually visited that place to okay. dissuade women. And when they were not convinced, I took to Mike and actually gave a 15, 20 minute speech saying, I'm with you, but this method is wrong. Please hmm. come off the street. Let's not block the road. All this is on Facebook Live. So what is Delhi police searching for? I'm surprised. Okay, I do want Raja to respond, but I know you want the larger conversation to be about the Umar Khalid arrest. So I'll let you come in on that and then Raja can respond to all the different points you've made. Yogi Andriya, please go ahead. On the Omar Khalid arrest, Yogi Andriya. Yeah, Omar Khalid arrest, to my mind, that is the real thing because he's been arrested, not just uh, named, and he's being arrested under UAPA. Now, look at just this elementary things. Remember, police, uh, Omar Khalid is under police protection since 2018. Ooh. A policeman walks with him wherever he goes. No one can meet him without the police getting to know about it. And I'm assuming that he's under electronic surveillance as well. 
So is the Delhi police telling me that someone who was under their protection and electronic surveillance managed to hatch a grand conspiracy which led to the killing of 50 people? Delhi police did not know about it, could not control it. I mean, do you want to be, me to be that credulous? Number two, why is it that you need to invoke UAPA? which is the final law to protect the unity, integrity, sovereignty of this country. Yeah. Is it because you suspect, I fear the Delhi police suspects, that the case would not stand any trial because mm -hmm. there is really no evidence that they have so far. Uh, but UAPA is, becomes very interesting because then you, then you transfer the onus and the trial itself becomes a full punishment. This is what Delhi police is into. Now, Rajat, uh, you know, you may, you may not be of the dispensation of an Umar Khalid, but you are a young politician. And I emphasize your age because young people sometimes have more extreme views than life teaches young people to be mellow. And as you grow older, you modify, you change, you adjust, right? So I want to ask you, are you comfortable with Omar Khalid's arrest? Are you comfortable that people like Yogendra Yadav, Jyoti Ghosh were named in supplementary charge sheets, even if attributed to the disclosure statement of another, uh, another woman, uh, Gulfisha Fatima, who's been arrested? And third, what is the message we're sending if a Kapil Mishra has not been arrested? Kapil Mishra, who faced an uh, uh, FIR for hate speeches, which the court itself monitored. Kapil Mishra, who you know, in a sense, that Goli Mar Maro Saloko, that phrase has come to be associated with him. Minister in the government, Anurag Thakur, also used that slogan. So I think the message that's going out is that only those who protested the citizenship legislation were somehow responsible for the violence in Delhi. Gorkhaji, I think uh, you will, since you have asked about my personal view, and as a young uh, student of politics, I would I would want to share what I personally feel. I still remember the days when I was a student at IIT. I used to visit JNU campus to meet a couple of friends. You know, the entire environment in the campus, in the JNU campus, was so dreadful, so fearful. It didn't even look like as if it's part of India, the kind of sloganeering that used to go on. I mean, it was so open. I mean, they didn't even have a, 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 a level of decency or, or gratitude towards the nation who has given them everything. Everything as in identity, education, best of the best of education. And still they were coming out and talking about things they had no clue about. I mean, if they would have studied, they would have had, uh, you know, deep understanding of geographies. I, I still believe they would have, uh, uh, they would have never made these statements. But unknowingly, they were brainwashed. And this institution became a brainwashing institution. And I belong to that generation. And I can tell you, no other campus in India, barring a couple of uh, 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 institutions, Ever, ever, ever such discussions were promoted, discussed anywhere. I mean, we were all rebellious in our own ways. But, but this is not even the did. JNU case. No, we can talk no, no, about I'm JNU at saying, another time, but this is not even the JNU no, case. No, no, certainly. No, this person is, uh, is associated with everything that went on in JNU. The kind of languages they use against my nation, I can't even reiterate on your channel. Hindi mein kahawat hoti hai, Barkha ji. Uska naam hai, poot ke paon paalne mein dih jate hai. जब उन्होंने देश की बर्बादी के नारे लगाए थे तो देश की बर्बादी उनके जहन के अंदर थी वो जो उनके अंदर जो जो देश के लिए जो विश था वो कभी ना कभी तो बाहर निकलता वो इस स्वरूप में निकला पर मैं आपसे पूछूं एट द टाइमलाइन आप टाइमलाइन देखिए ना ट्रंप ट्रंप वाज कमिंग इट वाज हिज ऑफिशियल स्टेटमेंट व्हेन ही सेड सी द इंटरनेशनल मीडिया इज हियर यूटिलाइज दिस मोमेंट पर कैन आई आस्क यू समथिंग एक तो जेन एज अ पॉइंट ऑफ लॉ you know, we have to see both cases separately. JNU mein kya hua, kya I have many personal feelings to Chiti Barkha. If you ask me about my personal but, feeling, what do I feel about but, Umar but, but, If I, I meet Umar Khalid, I will slap him. Slap him for the views that he has held. Why will you slap him? Why will you slap him? That is no, taking the law. Really that is, that is taking the law. Me. That is taking the law I, into I your know, own hands. I know. I, I know I, this is what my passion if you is. Think, if if you think his point. ideas, if you think his ideas are bad, his ideas must be contested with an alternative. No, this, there is not. Right? See, this that is, is something not, we must agree on in this country. Good. We cannot this be going around slapping people. This is not a distinction people. between good and bad. This distinction is clearly between what is absolutely anti-national. Okay. Okay. I mean, even if you okay. go I, to the US, I, 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 I also think, I, 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 I just want to say one thing. Okay, one minute, one minute, one minute. Yogi, yeah. 
yeah, yeah. I I do have to say, Rajat, it surprises me coming from somebody like you that you say that you would slap somebody. I would I I would understand. I would I would understand. I'm hundred. I would understand if you felt. No, no, no. I would understand. I would not do it because I am bound by what social norms are. I would I would understand. I would understand if you felt. Okay, chale, chale. Let's not let's not scream. Let's have free level of anger. Rajat, Rajat, Rajat. These people. Who Rajat. are living in our country can't even think Rajat. about the betterment of this Rajat nation. Does does that's what is appalling at multiple levels, Barkha? Mm-hmm. Why don't see every time you you picked up? I mean, you picked up Kashmiri issues. I still am okay with that. I'm still okay with because they have been suffering for a good amount of time. But individuals like them, individuals like them, have been principally responsible the kind of hatred that has been brought in between the between the Hindus and the Muslims, between the national, anti-national political parties, etc. They are the absolute seeds. Which okay. have been sown in into the hearts and minds of the youngsters of this nation. Okay, and this want, is very, very okay. Very, very, okay, I want to go to Yogendra like Yadav. Yadav, but I must very respectfully, you know, but what he said, I need to respond to what Yogendra Yadav ji, Yadav ji has been saying. You know, it's it's so surprising. Yeah, yeah. Rajat, Rajat, Rajat. You expect, Rajat, conspirators. Rajat. Conspirators. Rajat. You expect Rajat. conspirators of the Rajat. daily riots? Do you think? Do you ever go on live television and confess? And okay. ask people to go. Can I ask you? Can I? Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question now? I've heard you. I've heard you very patiently. My question is: Do you feel this kind of agitation for Kapil Mishra as well? I absolutely feel, and I have stated it internally, also externally, also on public platforms. Also, I do not support at all, and I feel bad that this kind of a venom is going around. So you do not support Kapil Mishra's language, okay? So do you believe Kapil Mishra should have been arrested? That at least there would have been some semblance I, I of even. I do not belong. I do not belong to the law enforcement or people from the prosecution. Okay. It okay. is their case. They need to build a case around it. Okay. And let we should all allow them to finish. Okay. Their now job. let me let me not go to Yogi. What they are trying to do. Okay. Now let me go to Yogi and Yadav. Mr. Uh, Yadav. Before you ask me a question, ahead. I want to say something. Yes. Uh, uh, you know, today several channels asked me to come on their shows, and I said I don't want to participate in the circus. Yeah. which is what much of television studio is about yeah. i came to your discussion because i expect a certain level of minimum norms to be followed yeah uh, if someone on your show says that he wants to slap someone i do not wish to engage with that person at all if you wish we can stop the show right now i refuse That's to i am happy to stop no, the no, show no. i can't be I with people who have been conspirators for the delhi riot no no i'm no, sorry no. and they carry such a minute, moral high minute. ground on every issue i'm very very sorry one but minute. i rajat cannot rajat carry on with this i cannot carry on with no people who can who rajat why are you shouting board. rajat why are you shouting rajat rajat here's what i here's what i want to say to you i can i say something i've heard both of you please let me make a point here i i really try very hard on my programs to have a conversation with civility following the norms of Fine. civility but one minute rather rather let me say moral. something rather let me say something i've heard you now you can hear me right i don't think we should speak a language of violence i think we can agree on that it is the basic minimum if you had said if you had even said i would have felt like slapping someone but of course that's this is not, not my emotion i read but that is not permissible but if you had i did saying that is not permissible behavior in in the in by law by this public what i said so you let's asked agree. me what so i feel so let us mean. let us agree let us agree that we will not use the language of violence we are here to talk about something very serious yeah fine don't okay? ask me about Can, my internal okay. emotions okay, okay fine fine so let's get back please let's focus please let us focus on the issue and please let us avoid the language of violence it is my request i tr- struggle to make this conversation at a different level from the circus we see on television so please let's by request is let's try and do that now on the issue of omar khalid now yogendra yadav the bjp has long ra- raised this kind of anti nationalism as a framework within which to place people like omar khalid and others how how does that fight the fight will by people like yourselves will be at the level of law but will also have to be in the as they say in the court of public opinion how do you respond to the perception that omar khalid is against india because that's really what rajat sethi is trying to say and that is why he's trying to explain the uapa being used against and now rajat calm, calmly hear him and then i'll let you respond and no language of violence please yes okay you can react only to you and not to someone who does not know how to speak uh let's, let's, again let's, again a personal remark okay let's uh, i'm going to try and i also don't want to engage with this person at all oh, i have please, absolutely please, no this rajat, is not, rajat you know, this is please. not my bread and butter but rajat, no it's understand. no one's bread and butter i cannot, 
No, I'm we're, telling you, please understand. No one's if he continues butter. to make personal remarks like this, I have he, zero interest in engaging is, with this individual. He, okay. He okay, both of you. Okay, okay both of you only address me. This person, okay, okay. But let's, I do not respect this person at let's, all. Let's, let's do this for today's program. Both of you only address me, and next time we will try and have a better framework where we can have a better conversation. Let's carry on. There is a larger issue than all three of us to be discussed before us. So for now, I will. Both of you can only address me. Yogendra Yadav, I will ask you again. What? Yeah. I, where I, where I, do you I, go from here? Respond yes. to you. Yes. Uh, you know, uh, Barkha, I didn't know Omar till about a year and a half ago. I used to read about him, uh, the JNU case, all those things that happened. And I had a similar impression that, uh, as you said earlier, you know, young people can sometimes get agitated, say all kinds of things. And, you know, sometimes they slip up, sometimes they get extreme views, etc. When I met him, I actually found a very, very different person. He's actually, I must say today, I feel proud of the fact that we have people like him in this country. He is so reflective, so thinking, so careful about the words he uses, so eloquent, and so deeply anti-communal, vis-a-vis Hindu communals, vis-a-vis Muslim communals. In several meetings when we sat, he was the first one to say any form of Muslim communal organization we should not associate with. And his notion of India and respect and regard and depth of emotions for India is something people can't understand. Those who have a very shallow, plastic notion of uh, nations, how would they even begin to understand uh, if their patriotism is about earning degrees and serving so, abroad, how would they understand what so is... So you stand, you stand with Omar Khalid, Yogendra Yadav. You stand with Omar Khalid. Not merely because he happens to be someone I worked with, okay. but because I have actually come to know him. Uh, and uh, the entire, that bogey about India, Ho Barbad, etc. You remember, Joe Barkhan, you are a journalist. The police is yet to prove one bit of that in court, that the local inquiry, which was conducted by Delhi police, said that that particular thing was forgery. And now that I know Omar, unless he was a dramatically different person four years ago, I cannot imagine that he would say anything as ridiculous as that. Okay. Now, Rajat Sethi, my question to you is this. You can loathe Omar Khalid's ideology. You can dislike it. It can drive you to, to, to agitation. It, it can you know, make you respond out of character as, as, as you did a short while ago. But do you support a law that is meant for hardened terrorists? to be used against well, somebody that you fundamentally disagree with, one. And two, since you said that you are not comfortable with the language used by a couple Mishra, the fact that he is not uh, arrested, the fact that he's not been picked up, the fact that no one on, on this side of the debate has been picked up, how are the law enforcement agencies creating even an impression or an illusion of even-handedness? Okay, so there are multiple things that you said. Take a step back. Look at the picture uh, where things are coming from. Look at the kind of adjectives which the other gentleman has used for a person who has, who has said some of the most shameful things. And that is largely attributed to him. Charge sheet has, was pending with the Delhi court, Delhi uh, government for a very long time. Finally, By the way, that's released. a completely separate case. No, that's, By the way, I mean, that's again, a completely separate was, case. Let's just talk about this case. Okay, but please so answer my question. To, I have a question yeah. for you. I want you to answer that. See, for... I mean, hardened, what do you mean by hardened criminal till he doesn't Is go he a on a terror? a terror rampage? I mean, I don't know. Uh, see, it's a, it's a definition. People, people, if you say these things in any other mature democracy, you will be treated in the very same way, I'm telling you. You go and uh, say this in, in some of the most liberal institutions in the, in the U.S., there will be cases filed against you. I, don't, it's, I think, it's not I think something... the First Amendment would, would take over. But Rajat, my question no, is this. See, again, you, I, the courts, you, Indian courts have not passed a judgment on this. So what, it's, do it's you still, believe, I mean, government, what do you again, believe he said in the context of Delhi, of the Delhi violence, that makes him a fit case for an arrest under the UAPA? See, because you are going on... Thing. Yeah, what, 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 is very he said? what is he said? Is the see. right to criticize the citizenship legislation Anti-national no, 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 by definition, no, 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 because so all naive. the arrests that have been made are of those who who opposed it, right? No. If there were some arrests of those who defended it, I would still say we're having an even argument. Please, Sir, please, please allow me uninterrupted. Yeah, one yeah, minute. please, please. 
see what happened was i mean uh, how you do you genuinely feel that the administration people and people on one side or the other side are so nice that they will just say anything about the cntca and would be end up would end up in jail i'm sorry it doesn't work like this do you have you read the confession statement of tahir hussain he has categorically named him and it is in unequal terms unequivocal terms he has said what exactly this individual do and let me tell you lot of these intellectuals this left wing intellectuals have been very carefully trying to build a narrative oh he's such a smart person so swave so uh, you know articulate all of these adjectives that we just heard in your show this is a very careful uh, strategy to protect to preempt the course of law to preempt please allow me to finish that's what i ask as my humble request sure, to you sure, sure. see it is it is it is a case where the prosecution is looking to build up a case they have ample amount of initial uh, references made by tahir in his statement i mean till now the other gentlemen and le- several other left intellectuals haven't even come out and uttered anything against tahir husain you know because that's a non defensible thing now this person who is prime accused has come out and stated everything now what do you do should the police ignore all of that and not uh, not okay, take the, okay, okay. Uh, the due force can, of law? can you can you just answer the latter part of my question rajat which is that the arrests have so far have been of those who opposed the ca right and therefore the impression that is being created is that if you oppose the ca somehow the delhi violence is linked back to you if there were riots which there were shortly there were people who were also leading inflammatory processions in support of the ca we have not seen those arrests have we you have not responded See, to that part again, of my question again barkha ji this has very little to do with ca the ca a bus had already left by then this is a careful act a very well thought out well crafted grand conspiracy that's exactly the word which is being used to uh, when when the international media is going to be there in india that's an opportune time to strike the iron is going to be very very hot and and strike we will and therefore all of the planning mind you none of this planning will be on live television live channels live uh, uh, addresses uh, to the uh, to the protest protesters uh, it's not going to happen like that i mean everybody knows and nobody is so naive that they will end up looking at all the videos that are present on youtube to figure out did he say something oh Would he's you... innocent because he didn't even utter okay. anything he's been condoning uh, okay. non violent means okay. and all of that I... clearly nobody is so bola bala they have planned it very well they planned it and somebody planned it at least tahir hussain was at the heart okay. of the whole planning and he named okay. uh, this person and okay. therefore the whole case okay now last comments from uh, from uh, both of you yogendra yadav uh, the tahir hussain factor the tahir hussain uh, arrest uh, is, is something that the prosecution is bound to bring up how how would people like you who are supporting omar khalid respond to uh barkha i wouldn't say a word about tahir hussain because i've never met him in my life haven't uh, known a thing about him uh so the court would try and if he deserves punishment he must get punishment every criminal must get punishment if he is one of them he must i speak about umar khalid because i happen to have known him because i see him i have worked with him uh, the beauty about the argument of the grand conspiracy with tahir is that the conspiracy was hatched on the 8th of january 8th of january according to police's chart sheet tahir and umar khalid meet they decide that when trump comes on that day they would do something in delhi to trump and bring india's reputation down you know the funny thing on 8th of january even the government of india did not know that mr trump is coming no one knew the first announcement about mr trump's coming takes place several days after that this has to be really a grand conspiracy involving no less than the oval office itself where sitting here umar khalid and tahir hussain knew what mr trump was going to do before the government of india knew it how ridiculous can these things get but anyway by way of a final comment i just wanted to say that if you criminalize a democratic protest in the long run you encourage extremism umar khalid does not at least in the way that i have seen him work outside and inside meetings is nowhere close to what the police would want us to believe but if we keep suppressing democratic protest this is what we saw in punjab we would breed people which the police does not want us to see this is a very sad sign for any democracy okay rajat quickly uh, on this point of the trump top reference to the trump visit this is this is laughable at so many levels welcome uh, 
look at i mean i don't know if he has read the charge sheet or read the, i don't know and what access he had was it the formal one or not clearly uh, what was mentioned there was that this planning at a very granular level nobody starts saying that we are going to have this level of a delhi riots because trump is coming that's just the origination point and several layers day by day were added to this grand conspiracy perhaps that is what the, the delhi police would be mean i have not seen i have not seen the date it is a very clever way of twisting the argument okay that's point number 1 uh, point number 2 I mean, law doesn't work by how one feels about an individual. I might also feel very good about certain individuals, but they might be hard, uh, uh, hardened criminals in, in, in the eyes of the law. What does that take away from the merit of the case? The merit of the case clearly says a person who is prime accused, Tahir Hussain, who is a member of the Aam Aadmi Party, and uh, 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 coming out and he has confessed to a lot of... Uh, Mm. A lot of the things have been a lot of evidences which have been collected uh, by, by the prosecution to build a strong case. And this person comes out and makes a confession that ultimately it was this person who is well connected to the larger uh, okay. uh, network Do of you... people. He was a member of the PFI also, by the way. And PFI, we all know the kind of funds that were mobilized. Do... It was plus 100 crore rupees that were mobilized okay. by this you, organization. You, you have made and your... This is what uh, Tahir Hussain said in that. Okay, you made your point passionately. I do have to close, but Rajat, briefly, since you did say that you do not agree with Kapil Mishra, you made your point about Omar Khaled, yeah. then you made your point about uh, Tahir Hussain. Would you want to see Kapil Mishra arrested? See, conspiracy, he was not part of. There is no evidence. I mean, if there is evidence, you should provide it. Exactly, okay. and this is where I personally feel what he said was wrong. Arrest, no arrest, is the job of the law enforcer. Not of me, not of you, not of the other gentlemen. Okay, we'll have to. We'll if have you to... can build a case, fair enough. We are all for uh, for law in there. We... I personally don't support what he said. Okay, that's what I believe. But if the feeling could be there, like today's feeling that I had for Umar, Umar Khalid, because you asked me about my personal feelings, and this is what I feel about that individual. But again, I know what the social norms are, what are the laws, and I cannot go out and do anything. And I'm not even a person of that nature. But again, understand the kind of feeling, the emotions that draws by people who are so radically anti-India. That's the single okay. important okay. point that I want I'll, to I'll, make. I'll, and every youngster of this nation feels the same level of anger against this person, Omar Khan. Okay, Yogendra, yeah, the 15 seconds on Kapil Mishra. I think both of you come from very different places on Omar Khalid, but uh, I'll allow you a comment on Kapil Mishra. Uh, I guess if someone in public threatens, incites then the minimum that any police would do is to interrogate him. Mind you, not to arrest and FIR is a long shot. He's not even being interrogated. And that was not the only thing he said. From December to February, Kapil Mishra organized four different protests of this kind, all of them incendiary. Not even an inquiry, not even a polite questioning has taken place. A woman who said during the riots, Mar jao ya mar do inko, naming the communities, no questioning, no FIR. Several people associated with BJP, video evidence of their involvement, no questioning, no FIR. We are looking at a second big blot on the uniform of Delhi police. The first being the 1984 riots. And this is, would be, no doubt, the second big blot on a professional force. Uh, I would incidentally just say, saying things which are illegal on a television show and later on trying to wriggle out of it doesn't show a good thing about anyone's character. Rajat? Can I make the... Yeah, yeah. See, it is, you asked a personal question, Parkha, and I am absolutely duty-bound here to share what I feel. A lot of individuals feel the very same thing. And I, I can tell you, as a matter of fact. But you can't I actually know, slap someone. That no, is, I, yes. why will I do that? I have not even slapped anybody in my whole career. But again, uh, you, you please understand where I'm coming from. My point is very <laughs> clear. The kind of anger. Once again, Barkha? What okay, is this okay, 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 okay. Rajat, quickly and then I have to close. Yeah. No, no. My, my simple point is this. That people who are supporting Umar Khalid with the kind of glorified adjectives should be ashamed of themselves should be ashamed because they cannot carry on with this rant anywhere in any other country. Again, you need to understand, don't have a preemptively sympathetic point of view of this individual. The, the law should take its own course. You should not try and influence the ongoing investigation in any which way. And what these people are doing are actually trying to influence that by, by showering all of these praises okay. on this person who is a potential terrorist. Okay. That's what I call him. Okay. This is the okay. that's, I also a, that's also a very big uh, allegation to make. Yes. No, absolutely. Uh, unfortunately, this is how I feel about a I always like to believe that uh, in these programs, we will reach some 
uh, middle middle ground but unfortunately we have failed to do that uh, today uh, i really do try very hard to to not uh, to not sort of come to an issue from only polarities and explore the middle ground i have failed at that today uh, so to my viewers i hope you have taken away some sort of semblance of 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 that of that space that makes sense to you because this is a very it has been a very extreme conversation uh, rajesh sethi yogin to yadav we have to leave it there i will just say in the end it doesn't really matter whether you agree with anyone as long as they are making a comment that does not incite violence even the sedition law in this country actually and it's a law i think should go but even the sedition law in this country actually says words by themselves cannot be seditious they have to be linked they have to actually be linked and proven to incite violence and really it's time that we really look at re look at some of these laws uh, if we really go to talk about free speech leaving it there yogendra yadav and rajit sethi thank you so much uh, thank you for joining us thank you